Okay, we've got that ready except for putting heat adhesive on. We're gonna save that right before we put the quarter panel on. Now anywhere we're going to weld or put adhesives, we need this to be bare metal, so we're going to have to take both of these sides to bare metal. And depending on what we're doing, like here we're going to be welding, we're going to hit it with weld through primer. And uh, the areas that we're going to put adhesive on, you know, we'll keep that bare metal until that time. We're going to go ahead and do that, the weld through primer on, and then we're going to uh, go ahead and we're going to scuff this back side up and put a little bit of undercoating under here too, just to quieten it down a little bit. So we'll get that done. We'll be back. All right, we got our bed spray coating on there. It's just a, you remember we put some of this uh, truck bed coating from Duplicolor on there. Like I've mentioned, I've never used this, you know, even for something like this. It looks nice. I think it'll work well for this. But as far as for truck bed coating, I really don't know. You know, whenever rhino lining first we started becoming popular years ago, uh, I was managing a shop and we got into that. We did the rhino lining, but you know, that that's really good stuff, but it's really thick and it's really expensive. You know, I didn't want to get in that expense with that. I think it would be good, but uh, we're just going to try this out, see how it works. Uh, I have another channel where I test products out. I'd be interested to see how this did work in a bed, you know, as it describes. Uh, I don't know. If you've ever tried this and and you've had good or bad experience with it, you know, be sure to leave us a comment below. I'd like to know a little bit more about that. If not, I may uh, try it out on something. But anyway, uh, I thought it'd work good for this. You could also use uh, undercoating to help insulate a little bit. Uh, you don't really even have to do this. You don't have to, to uh, put undercoating or bed lining uh, material on there. But that's just something that, that I want to do, just an extra step. Okay, but we got that on, we allowed it to dry. Now we uh, got our flanges here that we kept, you know, metal. It's where we're going to be either welding or putting adhesives. So we're going to go ahead and peel this off and we're going to start putting some adhesive on here. Now when you get ready to do this part of it, be sure that you're ready to uh, get it on, get the screws in and get it all set because this adhesive has a certain amount of time to get it on there. Uh, you can come back and do the welding later as long as it's set right. But the, the adhesives, uh, you've only got a fixed amount of time. I mean, it's you probably got over an hour, you know, to, to work with it. Another thing, when we uh, get that panel on, you can't take it back off. You can slide it around, but you don't want that adhesive to pull away from each other, or it'll create a lot of bubbles and it'll have a loss of adhesion. So. so we're going to go ahead and put a thin coat of adhesive around all these flanges, and I'll show you how to do that. We're going to do the same thing to the quarter panel, then I'll put a thicker bead, and then we'll set it on there. Okay, what we have here is some panel bond. This is the adhesive I've been talking about. This is 8115. It's made by 3M. But uh, first what I'm going to do, anywhere that's metal is basically what is going to be used adhesive. So it does not have weld through primer on it. All this back here and some of these other areas have weld through primer, but I'm going to use this 8115 here up front except for those two spots and down here. So what I want to do is cover all the metal with this 8115. We just want to put a thin coat and this is to uh, protect it from corrosion because if you don't put this on it, you know, it's going to rust. First thing I'm going to do is run this through the tip. I'm going to run a little bit out and make sure it's mixing good. And then I'm going to spread just a little bit on here. I'm going to make sure all the metal is covered. I'm going to do it to this side and I'm also going to do it on the quarter panel. You want to do both sides so they're all the uh, metal is protected. This is basically just coating the metal. We get all that done, I'm going to do all the flanges, then we'll come back and put a thicker bead. Uh, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and do the other flanges.
One thing I wanted to mention that we did not put in the video is that we did put the tire and wheel on. And this is to assure proper alignment of the quarter panel. If the wheel was off, the suspension would not be loaded. And, uh, you know, if we aligned it correctly that way, whenever it was loaded, it may not align up properly. So you want to, uh, you know, make your final adjustments whenever the suspension is loaded. Uh, we got the quarter panel, you know, we put the thicker bead of adhesive around and we are setting the quarter panel on and once you get this set on, you do not want to take it back off because that will cause air bubbles to get in the adhesive and, you know, that could cause uh, adhesion problems. So we get it set on there. Now when it's on there, you can slide it around all you want, you know, to make sure that it does align up properly. And we're also using those self-tapping screws that we'd already, when we pre-tested, uh, we're going to use those same holes so that we know it's aligned. And we'll get those set in and we'll recheck our door and, and trunk gaps to make sure everything's right. Because once this is dry, uh, you know, it's set up, You're, you know, it's, it's on there. It's just like welding. Uh, but anyway, we're going to get it set, make sure everything's adjusted properly and then we will allow the adhesive to dry. Now we are uh, going to have to pull the camera guy to help us put the self-tapping screws in so that pretty well wraps up this video.